Tonight, we are getting the most detailed information yet about where the first round of COVID-19 vaccines will go in Texas and when it could start arriving. Good evening. I'm Brooke Katz. Doug has the night off. Tonight was the deadline for every state in the country to turn in their orders to the federal government. Texas did, and state leaders expect more than 220,000 doses to cover 109 different hospitals in 34 different counties. As our Andrea Lucia is finding out tonight, much of the vaccine is headed right here here to North Texas. In a little over a week, Texas expects it could receive its first shipments of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. A new report from the Department of State Health Services shows roughly 52,000 doses, about a quarter of the state's initial allotment will go to 20 North Texas hospitals. Parkland, UT Southwestern, Methodist Dallas, and Texas Health Harris will get the largest deliveries with 5,850 doses each. For Parkland, that would be enough to give almost half its staff the first of two shots. Those employees at highest risk will be prioritized. They may be working in the emergency room where they're encountering patients with COVID-19, or they may be working in a COVID ICU. Uh, those are high-risk individuals uh, of getting the disease. They're exposed to it all day, every day. State Representative Stephanie Click from Tarrant County serves on a state panel recommending where to distribute the vaccine and to whom. Are you getting hit from appeals from all kinds of groups? Yes, ma'am, we are. And, uh, you know, I listen to their rationale. Along with health care workers, the state has announced a long-term care facility residents and staff, EMS providers, and mortuary service workers will be among the first eligible for vaccination. By January, though, the list could expand. Teachers uh, certainly uh, should be considered as, as frontline workers. They are essential to reopening uh, our uh, economy. Fort Worth ISD Superintendent Dr. Kent Scribner wrote the governor asking teachers be given early access. The Dallas Morning News has reported Texas restaurants are lobbying to have their workers prioritized. But Representative Clay said for her, adults over 65 and those with pre existing conditions who have the greatest risk of dying from the virus are top of mind. You want to get uh, the vaccine first to those with the greatest needs and the greatest risk. Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.